everyone, it's Book of Catherine, and just before we get into it, there will not be pictures of dead mice in this video, so if that's what you're here for, it is just a story time. So, there will not be a picture of Taz with a dead mouse in his mouth. It's only in my brain. I apologize for that. I didn't even think of it. It was in the heat of... I didn't even think to do a story time until like half until hours after it happened. So that's it. It's just a story time. So if you're here for the macabre, you can, I'm sorry, you can click off. So, and then the second thing I wanted to say is that I have been uh, watching some YouTubers that I haven't watched. I'm remembering some things and that, uh, and I'm like, I should probably, I, I know I've gained a lot of followers and I haven't said some things in a while. So first of all, I apologize for my hair, but if, you, if you've been with me for a while, you guys know about my hair. So I wear my hair down whenever I possibly can so I cannot actually do my hair. And we know why that is. Like, we know why, like, I've been watching some of my older videos, um... And I was like, you know, I struggled so much. I'd be like, I swear I know how to press stop on my camera. And I wasn't able, I didn't have the fine motor skills to actually touch the button. And now we know why that is. Like, now we know why I wasn't, that's my nervous, like, uh, we, ne we now know that that was just part of my health and what's wrong with my health. And we're getting some answers to that now and things like that. I'm not just stupid. I actually knew where the button was. Um, so that's part of the reason, like, I can't actually do my hair, but when it can be down, like, I try to wear it down because it has to be up and back so often. So I just try to wear it down, especially since, you know, a third of the world's women are not allowed to wear their hair out. Like, they, it's, if they ever show their hair, they're either lashed or put in jail or both, right? So, and a lot of them are set on fire. So, um because their religion is a law. So I try to like wear my hair down. Now let's get into the story. Let's do it. So, um, ah, Taz. So this morning, okay, so where, yes, there was a mouse in the house. So there's a mouse in the house. And that's because we live, that's something kind of new. Well, I guess they have them in California, but it's not something we really ever had to deal with. If we did, we didn't have cats. So if there were, if they were in the house, I certainly didn't know about them. No, we did. There were, there were rats in California. There were rats in California. I remember that now. They get in the walls and it was smelly. I remember like the last time we had this beautiful, beautiful house nearby. Actually, we became friends with some of the, the people who lived near me actually. Uh, okay. That's another story. Anyway. So, but even in the nicest neighborhood in the, in the nicest area possible, there were still like, that was still a problem. So I don't know why that is anyway. So, but California has everything like they have rattlesnakes. Like we go hiking in the parks and we run into a rattlesnake or a tarantula or, you know, there's just everything under the sun. Bears. You had to worry about everything. And I remember when I went to England, I was like, it was so nice because I was out late at night and I was hiking and you can't do that anymore in England or whatever. But back then you could and we were going hiking and we were like, I was out there alone and I was kind of worried about the animals. And then I was like, oh, I'm in England. Like the worst that could come out of the shrub was a rabbit. And I was like, this is so nice, right? So it's definitely better on the East Coast. There are not nearly as dangerous animals here on the East Coast as there are on the West Coast. Like California has dangerous animals like he can get bit you can get you know there's black widows black widows everywhere i lived in california because i lived in like every part of california every part of california had black widows that was a serious consideration so like to me i'm just kind of like a mouse it's not that big of a deal i'm just not that you, well it is i'm still trying to adjust to it you know or whatever but i'm just kind of like oh, all right like we're trying to learn to adjust to that sort of um, animal issue because that's not something we had to deal with in California. California was all about the spiders. So that's not something we have to worry about really here. So, but the reason why mice is a thing and, and I'm, I'm learning um, uh, is because, well, we have issues. I don't know how often they're in that. We don't have to do mouse traps in the house, but definitely like out in the other structures and definitely like just not here where I live, basically. We haven't had to really do traps or anything. <laughs> and then today, and then today, like we, it's, it's just today. It's then today. And I have to say, like, the reason how they get in, I've been learning from my friends. They're like, mice can squeeze in through the tiniest itty bitty cracks. If it's really cold outside and it's been getting cold, they can go in through, like, the tiniest crack. And I'm like, well, we don't even have the tiniest crack. I'm realizing we still have our AC unit in because for those of you guys who live this lifestyle, when you're this sick and this, like, we have doctors that I need to get to 
that we have so many doctors like I had to put one off like until like November because we're just got so many even though I've been seeing more I've been able to see more it's still stacked up like uh, if you list the physical therapist and then you list the, the cranial sacral and you uh, you list them all and then this and then this and then this and this and this and then uh, there's so many that I'm seeing and it's just, that's why it's so sad because I was like, I was watching my videos and I was like, oh, we got half my medical bills. I was so happy. And then, and then we just got paid halfway off again. It's because they just keep going up like, and then, and now we have an MRI coming. And I'm like, dang it. So, um, anyway, so, uh, we don't have time to like take out the AC, even though it's getting super cold, like we don't have time. And even though it raises our heating bills, like it, my husband has to have the energy to freaking lug that thing down. Like without injuring himself, he's got to have the energy and it's got to take the, t like there's just, you have to prioritize every little thing in your life. And it's like, well, which comes first, taking me to the doctor's office or lugging that thing? You really have to think like, just imagine one of the people in your house being in a wheelchair and then that person has to do everything in life, like take out all the trash. Like even if you live with your family, and you live with your parents, imagine if like everyone in the house was gone except for one parent and that one parent had to do everything, right? And that's the single motherhood. Like my husband's living like the single motherhood lifestyle, like completely in every way, like having to do everything on top of the child being sick. So a single mother with a sick child with medical appointments. So great for him, right? So he's, but he just, he just doesn't even know. He came down this morning, was just like, you're so beautiful. What the heck? Not looking like this. So that's the good news is that, you know, when you're in love, you don't notice it. Like that's, that's the amazing thing is that when you're in love, you don't notice it. You don't notice it. And, um, Anyway, that's another thing. So Taz comes in this morning at, again, seven minutes to get to the story. I'm going to have to do another skip the intro to get to the story. So the AC is still in there. And I'm sure that's how the mouse got in because it was not a small mouse. It was like a whopper. It was a whopper of a mouse. <laughs> and so basically, like, I have to... I have to sleep down on the ground like when my back's not doing well and I've had to sleep on the ground like I haven't even been able to be in the bedroom for actually a few months now like I've had to sleep downstairs on the floor. That's where I've been sleeping not even on the couch on the couch a few nights but like we're talking on the floor. That's all I can handle to get through tonight to get any sleep at all. I've been sleeping on the floor. So there's like this nest of just pillows on the floor. <laughs> Like, bam, that's why you see pictures of me with Taz, like, oh, Taz is with me. Yeah, I'm right there on his level, right? So I'm like sleeping on the floor and I've been waking up at, and I think it's because I'm, you know, whatever. So I'm waking up at this weird hour. So I woke up at like 3.30 in the morning. Yesterday I woke up at 2 a.m., but I'm sleeping, so I'm very happy. I got in some hours of sleep. So I wake up at 3.30 and I'm sitting there and I'm going through videos or whatever and um, I hear this like, now, I'm used to the cats. You have heard them in the background. You heard them in the 73 video, the 73 votes that I just posted. I'm trying to wear everything. I'm trying to wear everything until I get too small to wear it. And this is not working out. I think it's too big for me now. It's just falling off of me. I'm like, oh, well. Um, I try to wear it in time. I just could. I just every. I'm going to have to go shop. I just went vintage shopping and I'm out of it already. So, all right. So, um... Yeah, so I heard this kachong, and you've heard them like in the background of the 73. They make noises, right? They make these cats do boom, boom. Like they just, you know, do epic battles like two dinosaurs, like chasing, right? All right, so especially late at night. So I hear this thing, but then I just see, but it sounded a little bit different. It sounded like he was moving furniture, like he yanked something out from underneath the furniture. Like it sounded like something big move, like he displaced something that we had actually sat down. And I was like, what in the heck? And I look over at my feet and I see Taz like, boom, running out of the corner of the room. And he has like this little white thing in his mouth. Well, we have little white toys that look like mice with no feet and no tail, you know, but little white things that look like me. And he has it in his mouth. He leaps right over my bed. If you want to call it a bed, my little nest, unfortunately. He leaps right over my nest and boom, to the other side of the house. And Tiberius is like, boom, like right on him. And I'm used to Tiberius chasing him. So I'm like, whatever. 
And I go on, I just think it's another like, oh, Taz got a toy out. It must have been stuck underneath something. And Taz yanked the toy out from underneath something. And I was just like, wow, he really wanted that toy. Go Taz, right? And so, <laughs> and I go on and I keep watching videos, whatever. And then I start to hear something like later on, I don't know how much longer, but later on I hear this like, maybe I'll get that on the video for you sometime and I'm like what in the world is like is it can I knew like I knew nothing was running and I was like that sounds like it's just this vibrating and I was like all right pause and I'm like look over and Taz is in the corner underneath like one of our little like lids or whatever and there is Tiberius like sorry Taz is over here and Tiberius is like boom and Lila's like boom and Tiberius is like now Taz gets like that when he has food like if daddy feeds him a little bit of niblets or whatever like I don't know like tuna from a can or something like that like a little bit of tuna really I think is it tuna that he feeds him or is it turkey one or the other there is like this one food that daddy will like let ta like Taz just comes running and it's like the one thing that daddy and we don't get it very often because I can't eat it um but it's the one thing that Taz will go after and then he like drags it. Oh, that's the tuna. It's the tuna we actually buy them. There's like a filet of tuna that you can actually get. It just looks like real tuna. So, but he will, if he gets a big chunk of it, boom. Like if we were able to get that because of your gifts. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We were never able to get that before, but you guys donated that in your little support thing and said for Taz and Lila and whatever. And we were able to get the special little flight. Thank you very much for that. So they thank you very much. So he drags it off or whatever. And he goes, arr, arr, and he does that with daddy's turkey, right? So that's the only time I ever hear him growl. Arr, 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 arr. And I'm just like, that's weird. I've never seen this play. And I'm just thinking, well, it must be the middle of the night. I've just never run into it before. I must, because I have a feeling like I miss a lot of play in the middle of the night. And I'm just like, still not remembering that I stay awake almost all night. Like I sleep. I'm a terrible sleeper. I have lived through, I taped through the night. I should, I know their play by now. Like I know their play. I've seen everything though. I just know last night just, yes, I did. I saw Tiberius like pawing at the couch pawing at the couch and then licking his paw. I was like, because I taped up all the other corners of the couch for him not to lick at it. So he's decided to go over the back of the couch, paw at it, and then lick his paw. And I was like, come on! So, so I'm like, there's things that I don't know. So I was like, this just must be something that I don't know, right? But I was like, well, you know, should I take a picture of this? And I was like, no, like they're too far apart. Like they're too far apart. But Taz was so loud. I was like, I've never heard him growl so loud that he overran the audio on my laptop. Like, that's some loud. And I was like, and I really want to see, like, is there something that, I, and plus Lila and Tiberius were like, like they were in. Like the Lila had her little, and I've seen that on Lila when she hunts outside, when she gets going, when she's like, she never dodges. She never goes for it. She's the most lazy hunter there is. She'll watch forever, but she never actually goes for it. So, I mean, I've seen her, like, leap, but it's, like, the most lame leap ever. It's so sad. She, like, goes, leap, 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 and then lets it get away. She's just a purry girl. You've seen the purr videos. Not a hunter. Tiberius, on the other hand. Leash, leash, leash. So, anyway, guys. <laughs> Cause he'll just be eating grass da, 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 and I'm like whoa like it's just out of nowhere anyway so he's and I go and I'm I I'm like that's it and I have to because it's in the morning and I hadn't taken the meds yet because it's still too early I really have to be careful when I take the meds if I take them too early then it's too far between the last one I really get disabled in between them so I really just kind of like uh try to lift myself up you know try to lift myself and try to get to see Taz and I'm like, okay, it's just the thing in his mouth. And, I was, and I'm like, okay, it's still the toy. It's still in his mouth. And he's just like, Arr. and then he like looks up at me and I, he has just this look in his eyes. And I was like, are you all right? Like, are you all right, Tazzy? Is everything okay? And he goes, 
and he just spits it out for me, like just spits it out. And I looked down and I was like, toys don't have feet. <laughs> toys don't have feet, toys don't have feet, and it has a tail, like a tail that, and it's literally like, eek, like it's literally got like, it's literally got like, like it's literally boom and boom and the tail straight. And we are talking like toy, toy dead animals, like the way they sell them in the store, I assume I've seen liked it. And it is just like, and I was just like, like I can't move at all. Like I'm just like pinned, pinned. And I'm just like, and Taz is just like, I've got this thing, mommy, I've got this thing. And I'm just like, and I was just like, well, I can't move and I don't know what to do now. And and as I call my husband's name, I'm just like, baby. And you know what's really sad is that I'm learning that we have this thing called phones. We have a thing called phones. I can take my phone and go beep, beep, brrr, and just call my husband on the phone, you know, and be like, honey, we have a code red downstairs. Could you please come? and see that Tad has other thing, or should I, not, should I just leave it sitting there? Like, what should I do? Is that what I do? No, no, it's not ever what I do. I don't know if it's because I'm in pain when I call him or something, so I, I only ever call when I'm panicking or whatever, and I'm just like, babe, that's all I ever do, babe. Like, see, babe, I don't, I don't know what to do. It's the worst thing in the world to do. It's the worst thing in the world to do. And he's just like, <gasps> It's our unit, and I'm like, not an emergency. Don't worry, it's not an emergency. It's not. I always have to say if it's an emergency or not, so that he doesn't panic. And I'm realizing it must be the most cruel thing. And I'm really trying to remember, like, to take the phone. And the only thing I can think of is that I am like always when I call him, like, I really don't want to wake him. Like, I really, really don't want to wake him. Like, I really don't want to wake him. And it was easier when we were like sleeping in the same bedroom. Like, it was easier because then I was just like, babe, babe, and maybe that's where it comes from is that like, I never woke him with the phone in the bedroom. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I was just like, babe. And then when I had to sleep on the floor in the bedroom, then I was like, babe. And so now I'm down here. I'm just like, babe, awful. And I'm like, use the phone, use the force, use the phone. It's awful. And then at the very last thing, like he did it, he cleaned it up and he was like, it's still warm. Cause he's like, well, it's, it's, it's dead. And I was just like, yeah, I'm pretty sure he just did it because I remembered the sound that he had made in the corner. And I remember, and I was like, oh, that was like a chase. It was like a bomb and current. It was like that kind of a thing. And then he ran with it and the other two cats weren't around. So, all right, I'm getting really warm. I need to stop this video, but there's a 20 minute tale of a very short thing that happened. It was really disgusting. And my poor husband, he had to come down at like five in the morning and clean up a a mouse and we really need to get that AC unit out and and because this has never happened before like it doesn't but I was so proud I was so proud of my Tazzy bear like we were praising the cats like I was praising and praising and praising him because let's be honest it was like what three feet from my feet like he or I don't know how close it was maybe it just got close to me and Taz was like I don't think so that's mama uh, I don't know whatever it was I felt protected by my little kittens and not little kittens anymore, but I just felt very protected or whatever. And they just, they really just laid down the hammer on that mouse and didn't, didn't eat it. Just was like, here, here's what it is. Didn't try to keep it. Well, they, he did try to keep it from daddy. Daddy ended up having to chase him over there. And then Taz even hissed. He was like, <sighs> like, don't take it from me. But daddy wrapped it up and then put it into a Snapple bottle and threw it away or whatever. But I was like, oh, it was awful. Um, but I was just kind of like, yeah, if that's all we have to do with compared to Black Widow's. You know, fine, 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 fine. Maybe we'll take some of those moth flakes and put it along or whatever. I can't believe the EPA has done all, which is UN21, D, D, de-industrializing, right? De-industrializing. And I was, found it very interesting that the Gulag Archipelago, they did the same thing in Lenin's day. They started actually smashing all the ailments, all the, all the medicines. They actually did the same thing. They went through the hospitals and they started crushing all the medicines, like medicines that took years, like decades and whatever, these precious, precious medicines. And they would go through and crush all the, crush all the things that helped. And so it's great to outlaw moth flakes because it's a super cheap way to not have to hire a super expensive, you know, go out there and get you, you know, buy the big company. You have to buy Monsanto if you can't buy moth flakes. 
You know, moth flakes were a thing that American companies made. And it's actually very, very, you don't, it doesn't, moth flakes don't go into the ground. Like moth flakes don't melt into the ground, you know, and it's just ridiculous. So they left one company standing and that company now has the monopoly on the market. And so they get to charge like $20 for a little box of flakes. So everyone's like, forget it. I'll go get an exterminate. It's awful. It's really, really bad. And I was just like EPA again, which is, you know, so straight up UN21. So anyway, couldn't avoid politics even on a Taz story. Dang it. Dang it. It's my illness. We'll bring it on my illness. So, all right. So anyway, um, I definitely was like, we're going to reward you, Tazzy. I was like, as soon as I'm up, daddy was like, you're getting early wet food early. Cause they were like, are we going to get wet food? Or Tazzy was totally given the wet food hint. Like, so I'm going to get wet food, right? I'm going to get wet food because I did good, right? I'm going to get wet food. And daddy's like, I think you deserve early wet food. So he gave them wet food early because they get fed in the morning, the wet food or whatever. And I was like, I'm so giving you like for lunch instead of dry food, you're getting the wet food instead. So they're one day, like they never get that. I think they get it at Christmas. Like Christmas is when they get the wet food. Like they, they're one Christmas and Thanksgiving, I think is when they get their, like a more than one wet food a day. Like that's their big celebration so um so i was like you are getting a second thing of wet food today for sure the moment mommy can walk you're getting a second thing of wet food and he was on me like i think he understood me because the moment i walked he was like boom i was like oh okay you want to go for a little walk and he was like no 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 yeah and he went towards the wet food i was like dang it they're starting to know they're starting to know the sound wet food so i talked to them too much no one else is in the house there's no one else is in the house so i talk to them all the time so people are like how do i get my cat to be like yours and i was like i've been talking to them since you know they're itty bitty like i just talked to you see how i talk to them on the videos i talk to them like that all the time like i just talk 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 and i read them i read them very close but my personality profile is about reading Meeting people like you know the body language thing and stuff like that that's what my celebrities especially my politicians love me for is how I read body language and so I think I just read their cat language really well like maybe god now I sound like a psycho I better go so anyway they are they are very happy cats now they're full and happy and tucked in and feel they look like they look like they feel like they did a good job and and I had a mouse at my feet yay but I'm very proud of Taz. I'm very, very proud. I'm surprised Tiberius didn't do it. I'm very proud of Taz. And I'm proud of him for not eating it and just being like, here, mommy, here's what I have. So proud of him for that. So that's my mouse story. And finally, I can give this top away. So, like, it's falling off of me. I, I wore it, so... That's the one thing all these other YouTubers like have these sponsored tops, like people send them tops or whatever and stuff like that. And they get to wear sponsored and that's why they wear a new top every video and stuff like that. And I would wear the same top over and over again in video, except I keep losing weight. And then the next wardrobe comes and I was like, great. The only reason why I look like other YouTubers is because I keep losing the weight. So I never have the top to wear a second time. Like you saw, like my shawls, I definitely wear like my robes because those are like one size fits all. But this is what keeps happening. So, oh, well, I'll have to do I have a diet update. I'll share with you who knows when this video goes up. So I love you all. I don't know when this video is going up, but the 73 hours video the 73 votes video was this morning so that's what happened right before i posted 73 votes i wanted that to be up really really early like at 6 a.m this morning and that didn't happen because of the lovely mouse so give it up to the mice mice of the world derailed a huge election video what happens that's what happens when the news agency organizations of today happen in people's homes because we don't have a free press that's what happens is that a mouse can derail an entire election video all right love you guys bye oh donate down below that would really really help and uh yeah if you want to say remember if you remember you can say it starts at zero so it's really easy and then if you want to you know uh make sure it goes to taz or whatever just go ahead and leave a message and say you know set aside for the kitties or whatever so anyway otherwise goes towards the medical bills because those are ever increasing but they allow me to do more of these yeah and allow me to go to keep up with these more appointments that make me healthier and healthier that's why the videos have increased because I'm getting healthier and healthier because I'm able to do more and more appointments. So mwah, thank you for that. Thank you. I'm kind of partners in this. This is fantastic. So, all right. Bye, guys.